Hello, my name is Friedrich Lindgren and I'm a VFX artist living in Copenhagen. And I just figured out how to export Google 3D map data from Blender, imported with the BLOSM plugin, to use in uh, Unreal Engine. And we start with uh, saving the project in a unique folder. Let's delete the cube and go into the BLOSM panel. Let's set it up. So we choose the Google 3D tiles. And uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will only use separate building as quality setting. But this works also with the highest details. So let's select part of the map that we want to import. So let's go into Copenhagen and import the area around the parliament building. Like that. And copy the coordinates and go back to Blender. And paste the coordinates and we press import. And I'll cut out the waiting time. Okay, so here we have the data set. And the problem that they had to find a solution to is if we go in here to the shader, we can see the shader that is generated by the plugin. It's a mix shader that uh, when it's exported as an FBX, it can translate this shader. So it, a program like Unreal Engine understands how to connect the image texture to the base color. So you have to delete all these four nodes and replace them with the principal BSDF and connect the image texture to the base color. But you can't do it manually because you have a lot of materials. So it has to be automated in some way. And that's where my solution comes in, where I have created a Python script. So if we Go here into the Python console. And here it is. It's a Python script that I have created. It just loops through all the materials and deletes these four nodes and keeps the image and then creates a principal BSDF and connects the image to the base color. And here, last in the script, I also rename the material and the image textures to give them a unique name. And that is because if you import two maps into Unreal Engine, for instance, uh, and the maps share the same naming convention for the materials, which they will do, because every time you create a new project, it starts get naming them material 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, and so on, and so on. And then when you import the second map, Unreal Engine will not import the image texture and the material, but just connect your new map to the first map's material and images. So you will get the wrong data on the second map. And this is solved in the script by just selecting, you can then for every project you do, just give them a unique name. So let's copy this and go back to Blender and uh, paste the script into the Python console and execute it. Boom. And here you can see I created the principal BSDF and connected the image to that. And it's the same in all the materials. And now all you have to do is unpack the materials, unpack resources under external data, and choose the use files in current directory. And it will create a folder with all your images, which then when you import in Unreal Engine, you just choose to look for the textures under the parent, and it will automatically import all these images and set up the materials as it should be, so you don't get the white map as you otherwise do. So let's export this FBX and uh, let's uh, it can have the same name. 
and export. And that's it. Now you have uh, an FBX, a folder with all the textures with unique names, and it's just dropping this file into Unreal Engine to create your amazing renders.